Do you think we're having a conservative revival in this country? I think so. Of course, the labels are, 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 uh, are uncertain, are, are uh, unreliable things to, uh, to hang on to. An awful lot of people in this country will say, no, I'm not a conservative, I'm a moderate, or whatever you want to call it. But examine them on any one of the two dozen issues, and they will, on 90 percent of them, come up on the conservative side of the equation. And this is true of New York. Uh, the people who put me in office involved, among other things, about 40 percent of the blue-collar workers of the state who are traditional Democrats. But they're concerned about an erosion of, of a law enforcement. They were concerned about uh, the disorders on the campuses. They're concerned about uh, the encroachment of federal bureaucracies on state and local levels of government, and all of these things that uh, we who call ourselves conservatives have been talking about. So I think that the fact that I could have been elected from New York indicates that there is a reassessment going on across the country, which means that those people who, not with labels, but by talking to the issues, who talk about uh, some of the old verities, are going to succeed in politics. Judge, as I believe you say that conser the conservatives are on the out, how so with Mr. Nixon in the White House? I've never thought of Mr. Nixon as, as uh, a uh, theological conservative. I think he's uh, an instinctive conservative. I think that he represents that base root of American common sense, uh, which, and common sense in turn is based on, on, on an appreciation of, of uh, human experience and, and human reaction. Uh, so that I, I think that on uh, any one of a number of issues, you can count on Mr. Nixon's instinctive reaction to lead him to the conservative side of, of the equation. But I don't think that he reaches his decisions of policy on the basis of, uh, uh, of uh, a philosophical uh, set of building stones. Uh, so that I, I don't think that uh, Mr. Nixon could have been elected if he hadn't brought together a coalition of conservatively oriented Democrats as well as Republicans. And I certainly feel that his best chances of re-election will be to keep that coalition alive.